Yeah, so, so Tim, um, from a practical standpoint, I mean, one of the things that you emphasized was religious freedom. You said, hey, uh, um, you know, I, I appreciate that. So on a practical level, do you really think that we, were, we are in danger of religious freedom when it comes to, you know, Biden versus Trump or Hillary versus Trump? Do you think that's a real issue that we have to be concerned about as Christians? Well, I, I appreciate the question. I know it's rather rhetorical because I know if we look around us, I mean, we're, we're seeing this kind of stuff right now in the midst of a cancel culture. Yeah. We are being told that if we believe the Bible, we are bigoted, homophobic, racist. I mean, every slur they can throw at you, because if we say that we recognize that God created male and female, right? That, that actually God made biology and there are X and Y chromosomes, right? And, and there is such a thing as, as gender. That's not just a biological construct that was created by a man. No, no, God made them male and female and actually... God made marriage as this sacred covenant between a man and a woman for a lifelong union was God's design. Matthew 19, Jesus said, for this reason, a man leaves his father and mother. He's joined with his wife. The two will become one. What God has put together, let nobody come against. There's a lot of basic biblical teachings that if you hold those positions today, in the midst of cancel culture, you will literally be canceled. So much so that one of the things we've seen Kamala Harris, uh, Vice President Joe Biden promoting is that we need to do things to protect the LGBTQ plus community. And so if you hold positions that are offensive, that are bigoted, that are homophobic or racist, so what they're saying is if you hold a biblical position that affirms not only what we have agreed in humanity for the last thousands of years of human existence, but if you believe what the Bible says, then you're a bad person. And maybe, actually, like literally, this, this is not some 1984 weird book we're talking about. There yeah. are literally people talking about you should go to re-education camps. You should go to psychologists and let them retrain you so that you recognize your own bias, your own bigotry, your own homophobia. And they're like, it's unbelievable, but this is where just having a Christian perspective, like this is literally part of the Biden-Harris campaign. And yeah. so this is one of those things that I think a lot of Christians were just so naive in their positions on some of this, not recognizing the threat that is to actual Christianity.